Hey guys, Ren Pavich, HVAC Art Tech. Uh, decided to make another video uh, real quick. Uh, it's basically for the new business owners or maybe a business owner that's been in business a while struggling between the slow times and how to pick up customers. So let's get started. Think about it. One thing that I always got to remember, just because they're a home warranty company uh, customer today does not mean they're going to be a home warranty customer forever. And when their stuff breaks down in the future, and they had a good experience with me or my my technicians they're going to come back to me you know uh, people typically are loyal to people that give them good service so i'm going to treat every customer the same whether they're a retail customer a home warranty customer it don't matter because i know that I, i'm in it for the long play the long play is to win that customer for as long as I'm in business. And that's how you build value is by building building customer bases, maintenance agreements and things like that. And that was that was how, I, how when I decided after being in business for five and a half years to turn around and walk away and cash out, and I could actually sell something because I had a customer base. So, you know, whether you're looking to stay in business 30 years or you want to exit like I did and cash out, always treat your customers good no matter where they're at because they'll come back to you. Okay guys, I'm gonna talk about signing up for home warranty companies. A lot of guys maybe were confused or you know weren't sure how to do that. Um, so I'm gonna go kind of step by step here, give you some information, real simple and easy. It's not as hard as you think. If your business is slow, let's say you're a one man shop like I was, um, I'm gonna recommend when you're not busy doing the work out in the field, generating revenue, you're back in your office building your business because that's what it takes to be successful. So when there's not work in the field, there's work in the office. Okay guys, back to this home warranty. Um, so home warranty reviews, um, you can kind of scroll down here at the bottom of this and depending on where you're at and what state you live in or ser do service work in, Click on that state and it'll show you home warranties by state. So let's say I'm in Indiana. Let's see what that does for us. I'm gonna take this picture down real quick. So it's gonna tell me what warranties are available or warranty companies that service my state. And depending on where you're at, it will determine who you sign up with. So enough with that. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you is, okay, so great, we found them. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to either click on a link inside there. Um, and I, I'm going to choose American Home Shield. And I'll pull that up here real quick. So on this other screen here, it says uh, right here, contractor application. You click on that. Okay guys, uh, it took me a few seconds and I didn't want to bore you, but I had to kind of just navigate here. Um, but with American Home Shield, you just got to call this 800 number and then you got to, you know, fill out their vendor package like we talked about in another video. And, and they have a number specifically for HVAC contractors. You know, if you're a plumber, you could do that one as well. Um, pretty simple. A lot of benefits. A lot of benefits to, uh, you know, being involved with home warranty companies. Is it as easy as just a regular retail customer? No. Do they pay? Yes. Um, you know, they do a lot of, they do a lot of work and typically these customers are going to call more often than a regular customer from my experience could be different where you're at, but they're going to call when that furnace or air conditioner makes the, the slightest issue. And a lot of times they're looking for a replacement from the home warranty company, which they may not qualify for, but you could try and, um, maybe get them to take a buyout on their contract and sell them one at retail or maybe even discount a little bit. Now, the reason I did home warranty work, because let's say it's like a Wednesday and I've got guys working for me or even when I was just by myself, 
and I didn't have anything to do. But I could go out there and make 1200 bucks and put a furnace in for the day. And I didn't have anything else to do. Guess what I'm doing? I'm putting in a furnace because I'm going to make 1200 bucks on a Wednesday. So uh, that's, that's my recommendation uh, on that one. Um, same thing, 210 home buyers. Uh, I'm going to pull that one up right here. Um, you can uh, right here become a 210 home buyer service contract. Click on the form. See what happens. You just fill it out and you submit it. Um, it's pretty simple. That was a pretty good company and they paid pretty quickly. Um, let's see here. Landmark. Uh, home warranty company they look like a big one and I guess Amazon's one as well I wasn't familiar with them but if I lost my job today and it was between not working I'm signing up and I'm gonna sign up with them all because I'm gonna go out there and win customers put stickers on and I'm gonna make some money now I know guys up in Detroit that are doing over a million plus a year in home warranty work they're killing it you know the guys that are bitching about it I mean yeah there's there's some legwork involved on the billing part but if you get with the good ones they are paying direct deposit a couple days but you know you just go on there click the application let's see what this one takes us real simple company name contact contact number what service you know just directs you to your email So I hope that really helps you um, on what to do with the home warranty. It's not as hard as you think. You can make some money on it. If you, like, were just a one-man shop and you were signed up with, like, three or four home warranty companies, you could do the math on it. Let's say you're going to be busy because you're going to upgrade some of these people. Like, hey, I need to do maintenance before we do the service repair. Otherwise, they're not going to cover it because it's not going to be covered due to lack of maintenance. So you're going to hit up for a tune-up right off the bat. You know, whatever you charge, $79, $89, 100 bucks, Because they want, they want whatever is wrong with that furnace or air conditioner covered, heat pump. So you could realistically, depending on the area you live and the households and stuff like that, like in my area, I could probably sign up with three or four of these. And I was the number one provider for American Home Shield when I was in business. So I was getting like an extra 800 service calls a year. And a lot of those people will buy furnaces, even if they're not covered by the home warranty, they'll buy complete systems. I would say realistically, conservatively, somewhere between an extra 150 and 400,000. I think we were doing about four, 450 right before I sold my business, but I was aggressive. I did a lot of retail work. I didn't do any like property management work. Wasn't very big in commercial. But like if you were a one man shop, you could easily make let's 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 do the math. You could make 100 150 if you focus primarily on this and then picked up some word of mouth customers by doing a real good job for these customers. Is it the easiest work? No. But you know, when you're in business, you got to buy customers and if they're going to give you some free ones to practice on, take advantage of it doesn't cost you anything you already got a license you already got insurance let's get signed up with them let's make some money that's what this is all about right so the information on this home warranty that I'm gonna uh, share with you this isn't like make-believe land this is what I actually did uh, when I was in business and I was just starting out so is it frustrating sometimes trying to figure all this stuff out? I mean, you could be the best tech, best installer. Some of the, some of the times this office work and this accounting and licensing, that's just harder for me to figure out than fixing a furnace. That's the easy part. So stick with it. This isn't make believe. This is something I actually did um, when I was trying to grow my business from nothing to something before I sold it. So, um, you know, this is this is the real world. This isn't, you know, just a good idea. This is something that I actually did. So I hope you get some benefits out of it. And I hope it helps you grow maybe your business to the, or take your business to the next level. 
One of the things I always got to remember, just because they're a home warranty company uh, customer today does not mean they're going to be a home warranty customer forever. And when their stuff breaks down in the future and they had a good experience with me or my, my technicians, they're going to come back to me. You know, uh, people typically are loyal to people that give them good service. So I'm going to treat every customer the same, whether they're a retail customer, a home warranty customer. It don't matter because I know that I, I'm in it for the long play. The long play is to win that customer for as long as I'm in business. And that's how you build value is by building building customer bases, maintenance agreements and things like that. And that was that was how, I, how when I decided after being in business for five and a half years to turn around and walk away and cash out. And I could actually sell something because I had a customer base. So, you know, whether you're looking to stay in business 30 years or you want to exit like I did and cash out. Always treat your customers good no matter where they're at because they'll come back to you. One of the things about home warranty companies I always heard a lot of, oh man, you can't make no money with them. Well, I did. Oh, they're a lot of work. They don't like to pay customers a BS. They don't like to fix nothing. They're all looking for something for free. Yeah, some of that could be true, but if you know how to play the game, you can make a lot of money. I love listening to people bitch about it. Because that just means more customers for me. And when I was in business, the name of the game was getting more customers. So if you, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Give me a thumbs up, like, share. Um, you know, I'm sharing my business experience. I'm not, you know, I just seen something on uh, YouTube today where a guy is hypothetically going to like start back in business and do a series on it. And, uh, you know, I don't know where that's at, Wonderland or something. Because the last time I checked, anybody that was in business, if you were like me, I was kind of nervous and I had to produce. I had to make money. I had bills to pay, miles to feed. I didn't, I couldn't just kind of do it as a hobby. So I'm out there. I talked to John from Lockport. He just opened his business two weeks, was laid off from another contractor. And I mentioned the same technique to him. And uh, it's free customers, guys. Um, is it the best work? No. But until you're that established 30 year contractor, it's got, you know, thousands and thousands of maintenance agreements where customers are, are on their second and third change out from you. That's how you get started because mo most guys are lazy in business um, that I've I've ran across that they, they, they think they're too proud to do this. Customer wanted me to sweep the floor. I'm sweeping the floor. I don't care. I'm not I'm not above doing about just about anything for a customer. So, you know, put the ego to the side. I mean, would you rather be rich or you'd rather be right? You know, this is some work. You're going to put in long hours figuring out their systems and how to invoice them. But they're free customers. Uh, the alternative is you could do like I was doing towards the end when I sold my business to spend $60,000 a year and have the phone ringing. But then even then when you spend the 60000 sometimes the phone stops ringing. What do you do? You know, home warranty work. So this is just another avenue. I appreciate all the um, feedback and the phone calls I've re uh, re received recently. Uh, if you want to talk to me personally about where you're at in business, I'd love to hear about it. Love to encourage you. I'm not selling you nothing. I'm just trying to you know, help you and share the little bit of information that I have. So thanks again, guys, and uh, good luck.